But I just want to have a quick yarn about tough days. Take into account any change we have in our lives is understanding and finding tools to move from one place of unhappiness to the other. So there's a transition in that process and that's the core of change. If you can't get from one place to the other, then you don't change. But change happens all the way through a life. Anybody that says they're perfect and their life has no problems or they're not struggling internally with anything, I think they're a liar because it's as clear as the nose on my face that living this life requires struggle, requires challenges, requires dealing with your feelings and in your, your internal dialogue such, you know, everybody's got different feelings like I struggle with guilt, shame, get angry still, and losing faith. That's probably my biggest struggles. But I spin out of that and I come good. And the way I come good out of those down times is that I talk about it. Exactly what I did. 35 years ago in rehab that process that I found in 1989 after being a full-blown heroin addict bloody criminal blah 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 that worked talking about my feelings talking about the struggle being honest about the struggle not being in denial yeah. now that is paramount to overcoming things that you're going to go through in one's life because if you do not understand that then you're not going to be able to deal what's affecting you and if you can't deal with what's affecting you then how do you get out of struggle? How do you get out of down times? How do you get out of your, your low feelings at times, your melancholy, your, your thinking, your call it whatever? You know what I'm saying. Everybody's got a different description of it, you know, like mental illness, depression, um, not liking themselves, not feeling good enough about themselves. There's a variety of ways to describe struggle and to understand that struggle is a part of life. There is no way in the world anybody can escape struggle and you can live in denial of it and think that it's not there or you can pretend that you're so-called tough and you've got a handle on it and you're more competent than other people and you're not gonna show them your feelings and your thoughts. But what I've observed over many years of people that act like that, they, they, they kill themselves inside. They, they really, they really struggle internally. And um, their life is a reflection of that. It's really important, the more open and transparent that we are about our internal dialogue, the freer we become of our struggles and what's happening for us inside. So that's just a little bit on on down times and struggles it's it is a part of life you can't escape it and you've got to factor it into the the whole equation of how you're living 
because if it's not factored in, you're living in a situation where it's it's not good for you. It really isn't. Be honest about your feelings. Be honest about your thoughts. Be courageous. Don't stop talking about your internal dialogue. Don't blame people as much as you can for the way you're feeling. And this too shall pass. You take care and look after yourself.